Flow versus Head Pump. Today's video is to demonstrate how to use the Pipe Flow Expert program to define a pump using a flow versus head data. In this video, we are going to be using the general 06 example system for fixed speed pump chemical transfer. First, let's add the pump to the system, just as we've seen before in this pump modeling series by selecting the add pump tool in the toolbar and clicking on the pipe where it is to be added. This will open the pump data screen Let's choose an icon and colour for our pump. Now, to define our pump using data from a flow versus head loss curve, we must first select the set speed option and enter the number of rotations per minute and impeller diameter. When entering our flow versus head data, let's choose our preferred units from the drop down list. For flow, here I will be using meters cubed per minute. And for head, meters fluid. Once we have determined the flow points that we wish to include from the manufacturer's pump, we can begin to enter the head efficiency and NPSHR values for each of these in the pump data performance table. In Pipe Flow Expert, you can add a minimum of 4 and a maximum of 10 points to the pump curve section. Type the preferred operating region around the pump's best efficiency point. We can now click the Draw Graph button to produce an operating curve for the pump. Click the Save Pump to Pipe to add this pump data to the Pipe Flow Expert system. The system can now be solved and the balanced operating point of the centrifugal pump will be determined. The pump will produce a flow rate and pump head to match the frictional resistance throughout the system. The duty point will be identified on the performance curve for the operating speed of the pump. In later videos of this pump modelling series, we will show how more complex pump graphs can be produced, which include speed and diameter adjustment, together with the ISO lines and display an efficiency map for the pump. The pump data that has been entered can now be saved to a standalone pump file with a .pfpm extension by clicking the Save button on the toolbar or by selecting the Save Standalone Pump File from the Pump Screen File menu options. By saving the data to a standalone pump file, you can then reuse the pump data in future systems. Download your free trial of Pipeflow Expert today at www.pipeflow.com.